Hey guys, Kevin here, and uh, I just wanted to share something with you. This is a really short video, um, but I wanted to show you something I, I discovered while being called out to do a tune-up. I was out to do a tune-up on a uh, Chevy Blazer 96 model 4.3 uh, uh, engine. Very common amongst all the trucks, and uh, basically same setup on the V8s also. Uses the same style distributor. And uh, the customer complaint was random multiple misfire, and he thought a tune-up would solve the problem. Went out, pulled the plugs, pulled the wires, cat and rotor. And uh, discovered everything was wore out, but didn't explain uh, the misfire. So I decided to do a little bit more investigation and uh, put the, the rotor back on the distributor and decided to check the distributor for excess play. And that's what I discovered. As you can see, this distributor has a lot of play in it. I know it doesn't seem like much, but trust me, to the ignition system, this is miles and miles of excess play. You could actually, I wish I'd taped this in the vehicle, you could actually grab the rotor and turn it about four or five degrees. Easy. I mean, it just was all over the place. You could grab the rotor, pull it straight up. As you can see, it pulls up quite a bit. And then you could wiggle the rotor, as you can see, back and forth. It's got a ton of slop in it. And uh, when I pulled the distributor to inspect it, what I discovered is all the gears are chewed up. There's a... Uh, and it's hard to see in the video, I apologize, but it's got a sharp edge to all the gears. They're uh, pretty nasty. And what happens is, as the, and as you can see, there's ton. There, there should not be that. It should barely, barely, barely move. You should barely be able to feel a change. Um, that's way too much slop. And what was happening is, as the distributor was spinning, of course, because those heel cold gears, and there was slop, it was allowing the rotor to push up which was actually pushing it up way too high in the cap and because of the back and forth it was allowing the rotor to kind of just slop around in there and that was causing his misfire and there was uh, some cam issues I was watching the cam sensor with the old distributor and watching it kind of go all over the place and uh, once I discovered the slop or a new distributor dropped new distributor into it re did the crank cam relearn and uh, truck runs just like brand new runs beautiful and uh, so you guys are having random multiple misfires, you've done your tune-ups, you've checked your, your injection system, and you're thinking, well, it must be that spider underneath the Vortec, that's got to be it. Stop, pull your cap off, check this. You know, grab it, and if it moves around, there's something wrong. Pull your distributor out, put your new one in it. They're, you know, a couple hundred bucks, but it's worth it. You know, this guy is extremely happy now. He went down the road and no more bucking and carrying on while he's trying to accelerate. Drives like a brand new vehicle. He was happy. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, I know it's a lot of 4-3 complaints about misfires and, and problems where uh, people are trying to say, oh, it's a coil, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. Check this. You know, if these things wear out, you know, especially in these older models, that's a 96 model. It's almost 20 years old. A couple more years, it'll be 20. You know, that distributor's got a couple hundred thousand miles on it. It only makes sense it's wore out. You know, change it out. <clears throat> But I wanted to share that with you guys in case you guys are having issues with these. And uh, have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.